All right, guys, quick video. This is ripped, so I'm just gonna change it. This from the dollar store, 24.3 meter for 350. 10 millimeter, take out these three bolts. Three bolts removed, lift up this. You'll see that there's a knot here. Just pull out a whole bunch of rope out of here. Uh, I'm gonna use one hand, so pull it all out. Just keep going until you reach the end. So stick something there so to prevent it from rolling back. See the knots right there? Pull it all the way to the end already. Then you wanna take out this knot. Okay, take out this knot. If the knot is removed, you wanna just pull it all the way out. All right, so I just got a whole bunch of rope, a little bit extra longer than the actual rope that I pulled out. And I'm just gonna um, secure this with a lighter. To start, you wanna fish it, the line through here, all the way up, and then attach this end to the handlebar. Next, you'll just open the cap here from the handle, like that, you just take it off. Rope end is here, you just pull it out and replace the new rope and uh, tie the knots and push it, fish it back into that hole like this tie a quick small knot and tuck it in there tuck it in right in that once it's in there you just let go that's it now that you have the cover attached to the handle got the engine cover is all snugged up let's go attach it to here so you want to go around the bottom Lift this up. Oh, wait, lift this up. Oh, yeah, like this, because this has to go in there. There. And then it's supposed to be resting like this. So we have a lot of slack. We're gonna need to remove this. So after you remove the slack, and it's supposed to be just about this much. This is how much slack that I have. Anyways, let's test it out.